welcome to the exploratory data analysis course myself assistant professor vinay prabhavalkar department of csc aml at kits college of engineering autonomous kolhapur this is unit 1 lesson 3 objectives of this particular unit are understanding the types of variables in a data set and understanding the concept of cardinality of categorical variables so let's get started we'll first of all understand the variables different types of variables that are present in a data set let us first of all understand what is the meaning of a variable in the last to last video i have shown you a table which is nothing but was a glimpse of a data set so when i say data set it is nothing but it is a table now as we know in a table there are two things one is rows and second is columns in a data set a row is nothing but called as a record whereas a column is nothing but is called as a variable in other words it is also called as a feature so when we talk about the data that is present in a data set it can be of different types in this particular slide here we have a tree structure which is actually talking about the different types of data that is the different types of variables that can be present in a data set now let us first of all bifurcate the variables into different categories that are possible a variable can be broadly categorized into two different types first is the categorical variable and second is the quantitative type of variable the categorical type of variable can be further classified or further categorized into three sub categories first is the binary categorical variable second is a nominal categorical variable the third is the ordinal categorical variable similarly the quantitative type of variable can be subdivided or sub categorized into two different types first is the continuous quantitative variable and second is the discrete quantitative variable we will see these variables learn these variables to some depth with the help of some data and some examples let us first of all understand in some depth the categorical variables now the exact interpretation of the categorical variable will be those variables which are having some different values different categories of values can be termed as categorical variables or categorical data now these categorical variables are subdivided into three different categories namely the binary variables binary categorical variables second the ordinal categorical variables and thirdly the nominal categorical variables we will see these categorical variables one by one starting with the first one that is the binary categorical variable in case of the binary categorical variable there will be only two categories of values for example the values can be of type yes or no for some feature if we consider the gender feature the values can be male or female for another feature the values can be head or a tail so if we have these examples into perspective wherein there are only two choices possible then such type of categorical variables are called as binary categorical variables there is another name to such type of variables that is called as boolean type of variables now when we say boolean there are only two choices possible so these are 
some of the examples of binary categorical variable and a short explanation of binary categorical variable. Let us move to the second one that is nominal categorical variable. In case of nominal categorical variable, we have no specific ordering of the values present. So, here we can say that in other words, there is no intrinsic ordering of the values present. For example, nationality of a person. Here, the person may have nationality values depending on his own context or her own context. But if we look at this particular variable, there is no specific ordering present. Similarly, the second example would be a religious belief. A person can have different religious belief following a different religion. So, in this particular example too, there is no specific ordering of variables. In the third one, blood group. The values present under this particular variable too have no specific ordering. So, whenever there is no specific ordering present, but there are multiple values of categories, then such variables are falling under the bracket of nominal categorical variable. Here, the point to note is that we are having multiple values, not just two values, but when we have more than two values and there is no specific ordering present, then such variables are called as nominal categorical variables. If we consider example of blood group further, we know that there are different blood groups present. There is O positive, O negative, A positive, B positive, A negative, B negative. So, these are the different blood groups category values present but there is no specific ordering present with these values. So, these values are nothing but falling under the category of nominal ordering or nominal categorical variable. Then let us go to the third type that is ordinal categorical variable. Now, in these types of variables, there is a specific ordering that we have to maintain in order to put up some exact meaning for these categories. The first example is the passing grades for students. In this particular case, we can see that the grades of the students can be fail, first pass class, second class, first class distinction. If you have a closer look at these values, we can see that the values are into the increasing order or ascending order. Similarly, let us go to another example, the level of education. The level of education here, we are having different values like 10th, 12th, diploma and graduation. Now, from these values, it is quite clear that a student has to first of all pass the 10th class, then pass the 12th class, then, pa then pa pass the diploma class and then pass the graduation class. So, in this example too, we are having the values in a specific order. So, in ordinal categorical variables, the variable values are having some categorical meaning and this categorical meaning can only be generated when some specific ordering is followed. So, these are the ordinal categorical variable examples. So, in this particular slide, we have seen the three different categorical variables namely binary, nominal and ordinal. Now, let us go ahead and see the second type of variables that is called as quantitative variables. Now, as the name suggests, in these types of variables, we are talking about a quantity. Now, when we say a quantity variable is into picture, we are straight away able to say that we are talking about numbers. So, in quantitative variables, we are talking about the numbers that we can say that it is 
the variable is made out of numbers only so such type of variables are further subdivided into two different types that is continuous quantitative variable and discrete quantitative variable in case of continuous quantitative variable we are having no specific beginning or end point in a particular range examples of this type of variables are weight height length pressure temperature etc let me give an example exact example on these weight can have values like 60 kg 100 gram 60 kg 200 gram 60 kg 300 gram similarly height if you consider the values can be 5 feet 5 inches 5 feet 6 inches 5 feet 7 inches further they can be also granularized into smaller grain values like 5 feet 7.5 inches 5 feet 8 inches 5 feet 8.5 inches and so on so if we have a closer look at these examples we can see that the values are continuous in nature so if the values are numbers and those are continuous in nature and they do not have some sort of specific beginning or end points but they are in a range then we can call such type of values as continuous quantitative variables continuous quantitative data further taking it to continuous continuous quantitative variables so this is the first type of quantitative variable second is a discrete type of quantitative variable now in this type of variable the data value is again a number which can be countable and which is a finite number some of the examples given below are the number of siblings in a family the answer can be or the values that can be present for this particular variable can be 1 2 3 and so on some numbers finite number second is the number of cars owned by an individual the values can be 1 2 3 even the 0 is possible but it is a finite number that is countable in the third one the number of members in a sport team the answer is 1, 2, 1 is anyways not going to be a team, it is going to be individual sport. So, let me correct myself. The answer can be 2, 3, 4, 5, 10 and so on depending on the sport. So, again we have some finite number and it is countable. And the last one, the age variable, if we count age in years, it can be 10, 20, 21, 23, 50 and so on. So, in all the four examples that we have seen, we have the numbers into picture and those are finite and countable, but the values are discrete in nature. So, here in this particular type of variable, we do not have continuous values, but we have discrete values. So, such type of variables are called as discrete quantitative variables. So, in this particular slide, we have seen the quantitative types of variables which are bifurcated into two types, the continuous types and discrete types. So, these are all the different types of variables that are present for us in a data set. Now, let us go to the second objective for this particular video for this particular lesson that is nothing but cardinality of categorical variables. Now, what do we mean by cardinality? Let us first of all understand the concept. Cardinality is nothing but it is the unique number of values that are present for any categorical variable. Let us understand the concept of cardinality with a few examples. Example 1. Suppose we have gender as a feature in our data set. The two possible values written over here are male and female. If we have either of these two values present for any record, any row in this particular feature, the gender feature in the data set, the cardinality is going to be 2. 
why is because only two values are present so the cardinality for this categorical variable is 2 example number 2 cardinality for civil status if for any person for the civil status the values present are married divorced singled or widowed if one of these four values are present for every person in this particular feature for the data set if we count the unique values we will get to these four values so the four unique values are married divorced singled and widowed so hence considering the unique values for the categorical variables here in this example the civil status the cardinality is 4 let's go to the third example to understand the cardinality concept in a better way let us consider the week in a week we know there are seven days sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and saturday so there are seven days in a week hence the cardinality for this particular feature named as week is 7. So, the cardinality concept is nothing but the total number of unique values that are present for that particular variable. So, now with this we have come to the end of lesson number 3. In lesson number 4 we will learn the concept of linear relationship between variables and we will learn the concept of normal distribution. Thank you.